it's a it's a, it's an example of hydroponics. So in that all the all the nutrients that the plants need are supplied in a liquid form. And here the liquid form happens to be the sewage. And so the plants take all the nutrients they need from that. Uh, things like nitrates and phosphates. Uh, the roots also have a biofilm that coat them where you get microbes that break down the pollutants. Uh, the roots also act as a physical filter and the plant roots also help to put oxygen back into the water. Actually, when I first came to India, I came with a sort of open mind. I wanted to see what the problems were, understand why things were the state they were. And I somehow naturally came towards waste, uh, wastewater, water pollution, and you know, then try, I was trying to come up with solutions for that. Uh, it all started with a farmhouse, then a slum, then some more farmhouses, another slum. And now because of all that experience behind me, the DDA has given us this opportunity to work on House Cows Lake. So even in a sewage treatment plant, you're relying there on a mixture of natural processes and chemicals, but it's these microbes that occur in nature that naturally break down these pollutants. That's how they've evolved. Uh, wetlands are places where these kind of uh, organic loads naturally congregate. And so the plants have evolved to cope with those kind of loading and they can survive with their roots submerged below the water. The ecosystem right now is, is damaged. The oxygen levels are low, the BOD is high, and right now it's full of algae, um, which you can see. So we're, we're aiming to remove the algae completely so the water is either clear or, you know, at least it doesn't look like this. So the, the change will be visible. The wetlands for sure, the constructed wetland will improve the incoming water probably by 90%. And then um, it might just take some time because the, the lake is very big. So to clean all that water and filter it all might take six months. So that we've cleared out with the garbage, with the help of the DDA and volunteers. And now, now we're filling it up with the wetland media. And then on top of that, we'll put a layer of plants. And this will filter the water as it comes in and hopefully remove most of the nutrients. And then in the future, it will only be clean water coming into the lake. Uh, so the islands, we use a lot of uh, plastic mesh, a plastic pipe. Uh, we use these old soda bottles to make the flotation uh, and then we use this biomedia on the top with a white net and then we put the plants on top of that and that's pretty much all there is to it. And because it's plastic and we're also reusing old plastic, it will last, you know, 100 years, 200 years uh, without any issues. In terms of maintenance, compared to an STP, there's, there's hardly any. And most of the maintenance can be done by a Mali. You don't need any sort of skilled labor. And it's pretty self-explanatory too. You know, if you see a plant dying, you take it out, put a new plant. House Cows Lake has many different types of birds. Uh, there's fishes already there. So, there's only sort of one species of fish right now, but there's many different types of birds. Uh, some of the birds eat the plants in the islands. The ducks have used them for nesting sites. Uh, there's also these flying foxes, these huge bats. But the, right now the water is pretty unhealthy. So once that's cleaned a bit, we'll get a lot more insect life, a lot more fish life, and even hopefully attract more birds to the wetlands we make, because some birds require wetlands for their habitat. You know, we're relying on people to get involved. Uh, we're relying on people to adopt an island uh, and if possible, donate on our crowdfunder. Somebody big who can give us like 10, 15 lakhs and that will really help us get the project, you know, finished and done to a high standard. Yeah.